Okay, one, two, three. Hello everyone, another fantastic, magical morning, and today we're gonna keep on speed ranking up away from our embarrassingly low rank. So yesterday we went from silver to gold playing mono red, and now we're gonna go from gold to platinum playing Is It Burn. Is It Burn is another deck archetype I haven't played for a while, and I'm really interested to try it out. So with that being said, let's go straight to the deck list. Okay, so this is the deck we are gonna play today. Let's go over the cards. We get four cups of Consider, four Ancestral Anger, four Kamano Faces Kakasan, four Monastery Swift Spear, four Play With Fire, four Legend Shredder, two Bloodthirsty Adversary. We have four Kami's Flare, we have three Reckless Impulse, three Balmor Battle Mage Captain, and finally three Cups of Thirst for Knowledge. So what is the goal of this deck? Well, I am in a very, very low rank and I want to get out of it as fast as possible, so we're just gonna play a very fast explosive deck and try to win as fast as possible or lose as fast as possible to just get out of uh, gold as fast as possible. <laughs> well, that's a lot of as fast as possible. Uh, the cards are really, really cool here. Uh, I do, I really do enjoy Balmor Battle Mage Captain. It's is a mana 1-3 flying. When you cast an instant and sorcery spell, uh, your creature get plus one zero and trample until, until end of turn. So if you have this, you know, you have some Monastery Swift Spears, which is a 1 mana 1 to haste with prowess. So if you, for every spell you cast, this one grows as well. And and, you know, luckily you can curve out with command on turn one, so you'll have this as a creature as well, uh, essentially destroying the board. We play Bloodthirsty Adversary, so if, in case we gas out late game, we can maybe recast the Reckless Impulse or a Thirst for Discovery to try to draw some more cards. Or playing it on curve just as a 2-2 with Haze is not bad as well. Legend Shredder is pretty cool as well, it's a 2 mana 1-3 flying. Whenever you play, whenever a player casts their second spell each turn, a Legend Shredder connives. So this could be a way for us to essentially cycle if we do get flooded, we don't play too many lands we only have 21 yeah we don't play you mean the highest mana cost is a three mana spell rest is one two mana so we can go ahead and cycle the lands afterwards and then legislator is really good we also play ancestor anger just for you know the explosive threat it works really great together with monastery swift spear and Baldmore battle mage captain it's a, a one red mana sorcery target creature gains trample and plus x plus zero until the end of turn where x is one plus the number of cards named ancestral anger in your graveyard so if you use your card I consider and Ledger Shredder, Reckless Impulse and Thirst for Discovery just to try to cycle through all of them. One mana give two plus two or plus three plus zero and trample is not too bad, especially since the creatures can get even bigger with these abilities. We play Reckless Impulse just to avoid gassing out, and Comet's Flare is pretty good here as well. It's a 2 mana, deal 3 damage to target creature or planeswalker, and it deals 2 damage to that player's con uh, to the controller if uh, you have a creature that is modified. And given that we do have, you know, Legend Shredder and Kamano, you know, pl putting a uh, plus 1 plus 1 counter with a second chapter, it's not very hard to modify your creatures and hence get the benefit or the extra burn, which I do think matters. So yeah, it's a very, very fast, explosive deck, and I really hope you enjoy the gameplay. Let's go to the first game. Alright, let's get started. As always, if you have any questions about the deck or the gameplay, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below. You know I love to hear from you and it helps the video out. And if you happen to enjoy the content, consider subscribing and liking. That would make my day. Alright, let's start the first game. Alright, opponent gets to go first. You hate to see it when you play an aggro deck, but this hand is not too bad. We do have Kumano into Monastery Swift Spears, so yeah, that's what that will work. So yeah, Scuba Tiff. Scuba Steve, what are you playing, man? Or woman. Whichever you you are. Okay, so possibly soldiers. Uh, either way, let's go ahead and play Kamano out. Of all the red cards in turn 1, Kamano has the highest priority. So we can put the counter on Monastery Swift Spear next turn, and then maybe draw some cards with Thirst for Discovery and drop off some, you know, basic lands that I'm sure we're gonna get swarmed in. Okay, Boros, huh? What does Boros play? I guess Aggro as well. Well, 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 there was a lot of blue decks when we played and ranked up in silver. But yeah, we're just gonna play some fast games here. Oh, Giada, Angels. Okay, Mardu, Angels. Those are always fun to play against. And sadly, we only have one red mana. I still think we go ahead and play the Monastery Swift Spear here. And uh, yeah, next turn, hopefully we get another red land. Boom. So the question is whether is it is as good as Mono Red. I can, I can tell you 100% it is not. It is not as good as Mono Red, it will never be. Okay, Kami Flare is pretty good. We already have... Um, you didn't play an Angel, it's kind of strange. 
Uh, I think we just go ahead with Common Flare here and deal 2, 6, uh, six damage to his face, bring him down to 9. So yeah, as you can see with Kumano and also with the uh, Ledger Shredder, activating Common Flare is not too hard. And it doesn't have anything to save it with, let's go ahead and hit him for 5, bring him down to 10. So if we get a blue land, because that would be the worst thing. Wow, that is actually not good. And it's not, it's Naya Angel, so I did not know those existed. Well, let's go ahead and play you out. Put it on you. So it's a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, we can also, hmm. Uh, we should attack and see if he wants to block with etching, block etching of Kumano. And then if he does, we'll shoot the Angel. But I don't think it's gonna take six damage to the. Wow! Wow! Uh, do we just play Thirst for not a Discovery then? Yeah, and try to draw something good. Hit him for seven, bring him down to three. We have to discard two cards. Uh, the Red Land is essential, but <laughs> you two can go. Yeah, this is actually working in our favor pretty good. It's nice to see some innovative decks. I haven't seen a lot. Even in the silver and even bronze, there's a lot of mono black, mono blue that was just soul crushingly hard to play against. Or annoying to play against. So, scuba stiff, what else you got? Okay, wow, okay, he's still alive. That Archangel is a uh, a bit problem. There goes my etching. <laughs> You're edging me, opponent. Okay, Sigarda is actually gonna clap back. I do respect the opponent here, but I think we might have it. Hmm. Uh, we could just buff up Bloodthirsty Adversary and... Hmm. Oh well, oh well, oh well. What should we do, Watson? What should we do in this particular situation? I think we just go with Ancestral Anger here. We want to force him to block. Okay, so we just win there, don't we? Yeah, we do. Because he just shoots you. <laughs> bam, bam, and then play with fire. Yeah, so we're just gonna attack. We must as well attack here. Because even, yeah, let me just shoot here. Boom, boom. Easy piece of lemon squeezy. And yeah. Peace. Peace, Gubba Stiff. Okay, opponent gets to go first. Again, sucks hard to see when you're playing an aggro deck. So, but we do have Kumano again on turn one, or potentially Monastery Swift Spear. Okay, so that's gonna be an enchantment deck. I'm pretty sure. Let's get Kumana out and pass the turn. Yeah, and we deal back that one damage and that one life they got from the stupid land. If it's life gain, I'm gonna be really, really sad. Chemo, I'm gonna gatekeep you from platinum. Ha 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 ha. If you play, that is. Okay, oh, those are cool lands. They're not as cool as the ones uh, from... Oh man, he has the one thing that actually kills Kumana. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, he's gonna do it right away. Yeah, he doesn't want me to get the second chapter. Yeah, this uh, Haywar Might is actually kind of cool. Sure, take it, I don't want it anyway. Yeah, these lands are m much more uh, good looking, in my opinion. Actually, let's get the uh, Balmor Balmage Captain out. Uh, Monster Swift Spear, we, it has haste. Might as well play it out and play Consider, drawing card and buffing everything up. Okay, three mana do nothing, I like it. Let's get you out. It doesn't seem like he has anything. Uh, I guess we just draw here then, see what we get. Uh, it's not too bad. I like it. And we can just shoot the face. Deal 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> no, we don't need you. Bye. Yeah. Holy cow. This it can be very strong, yeah. Especially if the opponent doesn't do anything. Besides playing a student might. Wow, he didn't do anything, his land starved. That's perfect for me. Uh, I'm gonna be greedy and just save my bloodthirsty ad adversary for next turn. And yeah, and the mistress factory had, uh, or foundry had uh, so many sickness, we couldn't really use it. But yeah, these sleeves are so cool, man. Yeah, I mean, I was not much of a transformer dude when I was a kid, but I, I think that was before my time. Uh, what the fuck? 109 cards? Okay. Cool, and no land? <laughs> Alright, well, that's cool. Let's go ahead and use you. And let's pay the cost. Uh, play... Ah, we can do consider and just uh, see what we can find. 
Da -da -da. I don't think we have enough to kill him anyway. Hey, that's not too bad, but we want spells. We all have creatures. That ain't too bad either. So let's go to an attack. Oh. We, we could have killed him. <laughs> oh, I'm so fucking stupid. Yeah, yeah. Aggro player for life here. And he finally found a land. Sadly, it's tapped. But he gains life, though. Hmm. That ain't too bad, opponent. That ain't too bad. But if it was a Fable Passage, it, it would have been untapped. So that is at least, that's a card I really would like to be reprinted. Fable path, Passage. So let's just have some fun. Okay, never mind. Fun is over. Okay, we get to go first. His hand is fine. We have Ledger Shredder. We have Ancestral Anger. We have Play with Fire. And I love playing with fire. Uh, let's go ahead and pass and see what Crooked Chris has in store for us. Besides a lack of capitalized first letter. Okay, let's go ahead and shoot you. Yeah, that's a great card. That's a great card. Uh, so great, I want to play right now. Balmor, Balmage, Captain. So yeah, let's do that and pass the turn. Opponent, 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 playing Golgari. I guess Golgari Graveyard. That's the idea I have for my next video after this one, I think. Sure. And sure, that's a cool card too. It can be a 2 mana 4 4 if he has enough creatures in his graveyard. So let's get you out and... Um, we can just uh, play as a string, or we could also shoot the creature. Yeah, let's do that. I don't want him to ramp. And now we get to cycle here. The land can go fuck itself. And there we go. And let's hit him for two damage. Three lands is enough. So what do you have, opponent? Titania is a cool card too, and it does... Uh, hmm, we do not want him to get past it. Uh, get it activated. So let's use you. Uh, land can go away. Thank you. And we're out of blue mana. Uh, well, we can play the island, but I think I'd rather just toss it to the ledger shredder here. Uh, let's put you on you. And there we go. We can toss. Hmm, I do want to grow him. And there we go. Got an attack. See if he wants to trade with uh, uh, Titania with my Bala. Oh, he does. Cool. That's fine. Let's get you out. And uh, we can play you out. Hopefully, we don't draw and die next turn. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Okay, Azusa's many journeys. That's annoying because he's gonna gain 3 of life next turn. You don't want to see that, you just want to end their suffering as fast as possible. That's a perfect card. God, I love Reckless Impulse. Let's look at the top two cards for two mana. And a Swift Spear and a Bloodthirsty Adversary. I think we do Swift Spear here. And... My girlfriend is talking on her phone very loudly. Let's go ahead and toss you. And uh, toss you. I'm sure we're gonna find a land to kick the Bloodthirsty Adversary, and if you don't, we'll just play the Thirst for Discovery. Do you have something for two mana? Uh, go for the Throat. Let's attack. Yeah, let's attack, yeah. And it's down to eight. Slowly but surely, we're gonna nail this mother. Alright, nothing. I like it. Uh, so, which means we can use Bloodthirsty Adversary's thing. What do we want is a question. Play with fire? <laughs> we don't even get to pick. We don't even get to pick. Okay, we get to go first. This hand is not too bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's get the Fairy Vandal, I think. And uh, yeah, yeah. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. Sadly, we can't get Kumana out on turn one, which is a bit annoying, but eh, we'll find a way around it. So, Odeon, I wonder what you're playing now. Huh? Uh, let's go ahead and get the tab land out and pass the turn. Yeah, it's a bit sad when you have a command in your hand, but you don't have the ability to play it. Okay, it's one of blue, huh? It's a bit annoying. Uh, let's get you out and uh, we'll just flash in the Fairy Vandal. I think that'll work. Okay, Azorius, huh? Azorius Artifacts. Okay, you have piqued my interest. Something I would play. Let's get you out and um, let's get you out. So we can play Fair Wandle plus uh, Consider, or we can play Kumano, and uh, that's it. Kumano and Fair Vandal, I suppose. 
Uh, I like the idea of growing these already. So let's play you out and let's play... Uh, actually, let's do this. We can grow the Vandals next turn. There, that's fine. So yeah, I guess we're just gonna play like uh, Cityscape Leveler, the Mightstone and Weakstone, Thirst for Knowledge, Odeon, Odeon, without a capitalized first letter. You're breaking my heart. You're breaking my heart! Alright. Second Patrick out. The ward is a bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie. And he charges in. Well, he can't block us anyway, so of course he's gonna attack. We'll take it. And uh, that's a pretty good card as well. We can play it out. Pro and get the plus one some counter. The problem is we don't have the land to... Yeah, let's do this then first. See if we can get a land. Look at that. We got the land. Awesome. So now we grow our fairy and vandals. And now we can play out our uh, captain with a plus one some counter. Yeah, it works pretty good. And what else do you have? Okay, another a tap land is not too bad. But we're gonna hit for six damage next turn. Actually, a bit more. If he attacks with his uh, uh, automatums, uh, we're gonna hit for even more with uh, the Kumanum. Fateful Absence, that is a very annoying card. He can attack? Yes. Okay, Jaya is pretty cool. I think it's a little bit slow. Actually, I'm getting a little bit tired of these Vandals. I might actually just change them for something else. Get rid of you and... Um, well, what else do we want to get rid of? Ah, it's nice to have another red source, but... Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, might as well just cut the lands here. No, let's get rid of you. I want that second red source if we're going to play Jaya. Uh, so much thinking. I don't like it. We get to buff our Fairy Vandals, which is kind of cool. And let's go ahead and attack. It goes down to 6. And uh, land plus uh, cracking the clue sounds like a good idea. Okay. What do you wanna do? Odeon? Otis? Potus? Might stun weak stun, huh? Well, I figured you would have it. Uh, okay, so whom you wanna kill? Who you wanna kill? Probably one of the va vandals, right? So I'm wondering, I guess we have to get a giant next turn. Either way, we're gonna crack this clue and see what we get. He's pretty close to being... I mean, he's at 6 life. 6 life, we should be able to push through if we get another EC flyer or something. Yes, sure. Well, the opponent is playing a very interesting Azorius artifact deck. I, I went for big artifact when I was playing this kind of deck myself, but this is seems to be working as well. Let's crack the clue token. And okay, that is pretty good, huh? We just play you out. Sadly, the Balmer Balmage Captain does not have a haste. That is not a good fuss. But we do this. See if we can find something. Well, it doesn't really matter. They all have trample now. Uh, Thirst of Discovery is essentially worthless here. And draw another card. Good game! Yeah, it was a good game. I'll give you that. This is attack. We hit him for, you know, eight with trample. I'm telling you, this battle mage is just such a good card. All right, Odeon. Next time, bring a capitalized first letter. Okay, we get to go first. That is music to my ears. I mean, whenever we play aggro, going first is the best thing ever. And Angel Blades 95. Let's see if he can handle with the fire. Let's get the Swift Spear out and attack. Next turn we'll get out the Ledger Shredder, and then following turn probably uh, it depends what we get. If we get a double, if we can't, okay, we're gonna double spell probably. So let's play the Ledger Shredder out and attack. Yeah, all right. We have the same life total. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, and chase. All right, it's only having tap lands, which is really good for us. And I don't know what rule really have strangle. Okay, that's annoying. But in my, in all fairness, I would have gone for the ledger shredder. So we could just double spell here or just play thirst for discover next turn, just to make sure we discard one of the basic lands. So yeah, I think we'll do that. We can also, of course, hold the uh, play with fire, do whatever he wants to play here. Yeah, Ledger Shredder is such a good card. I mean, sadly, it doesn't see much play because 
everyone is playing this stupid gen. Snarling wolf, huh? Alright, so we're playing against... Uh, oh, nice. Thank you. Uh, I guess we can drop off. Play with fire. I mean, hitting land next turn is not too bad. Sure. Let's just play this right away. We find a basic land. Thank you. Thirst for discovery. What a card. An extra angle or ang... <laughs> Anger is pretty good. So let's uh, go ahead and do it like this, because I don't want him to have this uh, wolf on his turn, and we get to proc both of them. Uh, we can toss that, and we can toss that as well. Eh. Yeah, I think we can toss it. And yeah, let's go ahead and attack. Bam. Fantastic. So it would be nice to get a battle mage now, just destroy him on top. Child of the pack, huh? Okay. All right, we're getting a lot of lands here. Um, hmm. Could just ancestral anger. Try to find another spell. Let me use consider. That's a good spell. Use you. Sure. Let's get the double procs. Um, yeah, we're keeping the bottle battle mage for sure. That's also a good card. So let's keep it like this. And wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm just loving this deck, man. I don't think it's not as I gotta be honest, but Mono Red is definitely better, but is it is still more fun? <laughs> it's in the same category of speed at least. Which is you know mandatory whenever you're gonna play something to rank up fast. Unnet, okay. Fair enough. Okay, you get to draw a card, I guess. Sure, I don't know what uh, what werewolves are playing, but we're in gold. And uh, it's so interesting because I was actually going to farm from bronze all the way up to mythic playing that uh, my Simic deck and I could not get any easy opponents and I think I lost like 50 to 60 games. <laughs> Gets one of black and then then I started, started playing into mono red. Mono red was still pretty difficult and then got into gold and suddenly the players got so easier. So much easier. Maybe I should play my Simic deck here. Okay, it's Havlar, huh? Well, give me my card, please. Sure, get rid of you. And we can get rid of you. I, I like Thirst for Discovery here. But yeah, it's pretty game is over for the opponents. Sure, I mean, I can block here. Don't know why he, att he attacked with that, but fair enough. He gets uh, two cards, right? Tavlor and Savage Packmate. Fine, and uh, let's get you out. Play you out. Okay. And yeah, it's just quite an attack. It's just lethal. So yeah, that is it. And I think that pushes off up into platinum if I'm not completely incorrect. And look at that. Life goals, guys. We reached back to platinum. We're no longer in the super scrub rank. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the decks. What can I say really? Um, well, it, it works getting out of the lower ranks for sure. I think we played a different variety of cards here and there, and this is the deck I finally settled on. I think we played Jaya somewhere, but it wasn't that good. Uh, but this is not a much very expensive deck. I mean, we have some rare cards here, like the lands, Ledger Shredder, and the Adversary, but we can switch things out here. Let's make this free to play. So first, let's get the Sifu Water Cliff Falls and get rid of the Shivan Reef. Yeah, we can get rid of you and uh, just increase the... I mean, we don't need so many dual lands, I think. Uh, and get rid of the Mishra. So something like this. And yeah, I think we only play like four rare cards and two uh, mythic cards. And I'm pretty sure you could use this to go all the way up to at least platinum, I I'd think. Either way, we're going to do the same thing as last time. I'm going to show you all the games I played that we won going up from beginning of gold all the way to platinum. Uh, I'm gonna fast speed them forward if you're interested in watching them. Um, yeah, and I, do, I did not include the games we lost because there are a lot of them and this video will take too long. It's just like a time lapse and eventually hopefully I can make a time lapse from bronze all the way up to mythic if I can get into mythic on time. Either way, thank you so much for watching till the end, you rock. Like and subscribe and... Have a good fucking day!